Well, Iran and the wars in Yemen and Syria are expected to be discussed. So is the backlash against the murder of Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi. And this opinion piece in the New York Times is attracting lots of social media attention. The sister of a women's rights activist, Lujain al halathlul who is currently in a Saudi jail, gives a detailed account of her sister's ordeal. Alia, who is calling on Pompeo to raise the plight of all activists in Saudi jails. She describes how her sister, Lujain, has spent months in prison without being charged, where she says she's been beaten, waterboarded, given electric shocks and threatened with rape. Now, Lou Jane was arrested last May, along with six other well-known activists for what prosecutors describe as posing a threat to state security. She is well known for her campaign to lift the ban on women driving in Saudi Arabia. And that ban was lifted a month after her arrest. In the New York Times article, her sister accuses royal advisor Saud al Qatani of laughing while he watched the torture being carried out. She says on various occasions he threatened to rape and kill her, then throw her body into the sewage system. Qatani has been accused of orchestrating the killing of Jamal Khashoggi. Well, pressure is mounting on the U.S. Secretary of State to do more. And Ken Roth from Human Rights Watch questions whether Mike Pompeo will seek the release of jailed Saudi activists during his meeting with the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Amnesty International has also tweeted Pompeo directly, saying at least 12 Saudi human rights offenders, most of them women, have been detained without charge since May 2018 in Dahban prison. And many others are sharing the hashtag Free Lujain and criticizing the Saudi Kingdom. And one user left Saudi Arabia because of what he calls oppression in the country. And this was his message to the Crown Prince. You put a lot of people in jail, whether they are Muslims or liberals or atheists. Why do you torture those who call for women's freedoms? Why do you subject them to rape and harassment? What do you exactly want? Everyone is scared. Every now and then, a Saudi has left his country because of you. I left with my wife because of the oppression. More and more of Saudis will leave the kingdom because of you. You will destroy the country.